On landing her Stuka at Rechlin after one such test flight, she was told by Karl Franke, the chief test pilot, that he was going to Bremen to test fly Germany's first helicopter designed by Professor Fokker. And he asked me if I would like to bring him there with my most beloved bomber. This was the Dornier Do 17. When we arrived at Bremen, Professor Fokker received us and was very astonished. I was at this time already with 24 years a flight captain. Um, he said, oh, it's wonderful that Hannah Reich also comes to test fly the helicopter. And you see, the helicopter, this first helicopter, seemed in the whole world to be a miracle. So I looked to Franke, and he only twinkled with his eyes. So I thought, thank you, thank you. I asked to make a circle, and I put the plane in the middle. I could look to see the wheel. Now, when giving gasoline, I saw when the stick wasn't just in the middle, the wheel went forward. And when, when I went the stick a little bit backwards, the wheel went backwards. So when I found, now the wheel is standing, I gave gasoline. With the gasoline, it went up. I went down again. Within three minutes, I had it. The FA-61 was undoubtedly the world's first practical helicopter. But at that time, there remained the problem of how to present this achievement to a skeptical world. You see, when the newspapers in the whole world wrote about this first miraculous helicopter, uh, we had already so many enemies that they didn't believe it. And if Germany would have invited them, they wouldn't have come. So, very clever, General Udet thought we will, in, we will, without inviting them, have them all. The occasion was the Berlin International Motor Show, an annual display of German technological skill, which naturally attracted the world's press. And this time, 1938, he thought, we will show the helicopter, and Hannah had to demonstrate this. After this brief rehearsal, Hannah Reich, for the two-week duration of the show, nightly performed the hazardous flight inside the Deutschlandshalle, where the smallest fault or error of judgment could have ended in disaster. With the primitive controls then available, such an accident could well have occurred. But all went well, and it was so clever of General Udet because due to this, it remained an historical fact that Professor Fokker's helicopter was really the very first in the history of mankind, yes? Yeah? 